Hi everyone, my name is Mally Thomas, Global Artist in Residence for Bobby Brown. Today I have Lee in the chair and we're going to discuss all things complexion. Let's get started. When I first met you. Oh my God. Well, my was, skin was so, I mean, it's still a process. Your skin always is a beautiful. Process, your skin is beautiful. <laughs> I was really on the struggle bus. So I think that it is beautiful for us to just focus on skin today since we've always talked about our skin. What can uh, we use and how can we improve? All right, so we're starting with the Extra Repair Moisture Cream Intense. This is an amazing product. I've used it on you before. You've raved about how it smells and how it feels on your skin. Yeah. The beautiful thing about skin prep as well is that it helps with application. It really helps the foundation or concealer or glide on. Next up, we're going to apply the Extra Repair Eye Cream Intense. I'm always looking for like a good eye cream. A good it's eye cream. It's hard to find. It really is, but like, this one is it. I'm just wiping this on with a foundation brush. Now that I'm looking at your skin with absolutely nothing on, I'm able to see what I would like to correct. I'm bringing in the Skin Corrector Stick in Peach. Can I ask you a question? Plenty. How do you know what color to use? So this is a never ending question. For you, you're definitely very golden olive. I wanted to give you kind of like a peachy corrector because I feel like that is going to lift the discoloration. Some people use it just around the mouth or underneath yeah. the eyes. I like to use it all over. If you do kind of like the groundwork before foundation, by the time you get to that step, you can use like a very sheer- Easy. Yep, glide. sheer coverage. You know what? I, and I don't color correct. You don't. And that's probably why I don't like my makeup either. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I'm just kind of like, it's like kitten paws. I'm just kind of like pressing it it's in like just a little bit, very light. Just to make sure that we keep that coverage in place. So next we're moving to foundation. I'm using the Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation. This shade that I'm using on you is Golden Neutral. These are just little areas that you see on your face where you don't really need to apply any foundation. Okay. So right now we're gonna do like my trick, which is kind of like spot concealing different areas and leaving certain areas bare. Most of my product goes around the mouth area because hyperpigmentation and discoloration. This is where I kind of go in and really press in quite a bit of product. Everywhere else is sheer because our color corrector came in and did the work. She did. We love her. We love her so much. <laughs> so now we're going into concealer. You have such a beautiful coverage going on right now. You don't need much. I'm using our skin concealer stick in natural tan. Okay, I'm going to go down the bridge of your nose, add a few lines in the center of the forehead and then in the center of the chin. And this is just gonna give you a natural highlight down the center of your face. Next, I'm going in to contour with our skin foundation stick in Cool Golden. So for contouring, I like to go in and just add a few lines to the hairline. This is where the sun just kind of naturally tans your face in these areas. So I just want to make sure that the contour looks very natural. And then I'm going underneath the cheek area to add three dots there as well. And then I'm going to go underneath, add three dots there. Areas that are just not underneath the cheek. You know how some people just kind of hollow the cheeks yeah. out? I like to actually bring it onto the apples of the cheek as well. I'm not going to go down the size of your nose with the actual stick. I'm just gonna use the excess product that's on the brush just to shade the size of your nose. I really think that it looks beautiful to keep it as natural as possible. And I don't wanna look in the mirror and don't look like myself at all. Yeah, speaking of like making sure your client or your muse looks like them, I know you and you're so meticulous and like <laughs> you you have your process and I know a lot of times celebrities are like, you have 30 minutes. Right. And then you, she has to go or right, he has to right, go. Right, right, right. How do you, like how do you deal with that? Like I don't. <laughs> I have to have my time. Yeah. But I will tell you that wasn't always an option for me. I remember when I first started doing makeup, I was doing these very detailed eyes on a client yeah. that took forever. And her publicist came in and it was like, she needs to go. And I and would, you only had eyes. And I only had eyes. And that's what made me focus on complexion. Mm. I said, you know what? If I had majority of the face done, yeah. and the, or the complexion products on, the skin was done, I could have done something yeah, you can do a, very a quick. Eye. So that actually changed my techniques. I said, I'm going to focus on skin wow. because if I am in you know, a crunch yeah. and I have those rush moments, we can get the client out of there. Yeah, she still looks good. She like still looks good. I am going to bring in Pot Rouge, which is kind of like a creamy cheek and lip product. But I like to add it to complexion. 
So I basically apply it to wet product so that you can blend it in. Some people like blush, some people don't. I can't live without it. So I'm setting your foundation with sheer finish pressed powder and soft honey. Now that we've created a smooth complexion, I really want a detailed eye on you, but I'm going to add a gold shimmer to the center of your eye as well, just to make it pop. But I really love these long wear cream shadow sticks because they stay in place. You can wear them by themselves or you can apply eyeshadow on top of them. So how are you like in LA? There's so much opportunity, so many creative people. Like I got to meet you. You've given me so many opportunities. And then from working with you, I've gotten so many more opportunities. Mm -hmm. And just to see our growth is also yeah. inspiring to, to me as well, to see you and you know, you took that leap of faith and it's just, it's like, it's important. I'm like living my dream here, sitting here with all of this and you. Girl. <laughs> it's a dream, it's like something that you, like I used to wish for. Yeah. When I first started in this industry, I will tell you, like it was all about me just trying to make it in New York. Yeah. When I realized that it was such a gap in the beauty industry, when it came down to people that took care of us and took care of black women, I had to do something about it. It's so important that we support each other and uplift each other like that. Mm -hmm. like, it's hard to find. So you're a gem. You're like a- I love you so one in a much. Million. I'm trying to like <laughs> hold it in. No. So next we're doing highlighting powder. And I think for your complexion, I really think that bronze glow is going to be the perfect match. So now we're gonna finish the look off. I love this fleshy tone lip pencil. The shade is nude. So now I'm going for the Crush Oil Infused Gloss in shade Bare Sparkle. And that's a color that I would go for. Like, you would? Yeah, that's okay. like, this is my vibe. Okay, so that completes the look. Oh my God, you look so stunning. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. I just, <laughs> like I'm lost for words, but I really just love this. Cause it's like, it's like glam, mm -hmm. but it doesn't, feel like it and it mm -hmm. doesn't look like it. It looks like natural, but like beat at the same time. I love it. It's the Bobby Brown it's, way. It is. I know that's right. I In love it. Mally Magic way. Okay. <laughs> I love it. That completes my complexion routine. I hope you enjoyed it. And I look forward to seeing you on the next episode of In the Chair.